Well, I knew he was a tough guy. He's also a friend of mine, so it was difficult. It wasn't the most exciting match. Apologize for that, but I think we respect each other's game. And uh, sometimes that happens, but hey, I talked to Jim. He's a gamer, he can fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together from all the way from the United States of America, Jeff Monson. Victory 45 for Jeff Monson. Up next, the super heavyweights, Bob Sapp and Soa Paleli. Love him or hate him, the beast has arrived in the CFC. A former Pride and K1 champion, Bob Sapp is looking to return to his glory days, taking on one of Australia's best heavyweights here tonight. So a Palele's powerful striking game has been the weapon of choice as the Hulk charged his way to a six-fight win streak. Tonight, he faces his biggest opponent yet, looking for number seven. Bob Sapp, uh, I, I think he's, he's a great athlete, and uh, you know he's had you know, good wins in his career, in, in his start of his career. He, he's, got, he's got a big name. He's, you know, despite what, what people think of him, win, win or losses, you know, he's, he's, he's still a, you know, he's still a professional athlete, and I think he conducts himself very well. So, uh, you know, this will be a good, you know, good fight between uh, the Beast and the Hulk. So, I'm looking forward to it. Well, hey, let's face it, the Beast is coming off of several losses in a row. So, what I need to do is have him kind of get that confidence building going in there and so he's going to get in there and oh yes I can do it I can win he's going to hear the crowd going crazy that's when I need to come away with a secret submission I think he's probably expecting for a takedown or something or probably you know uh you know, try maybe maybe stand up with him and and, and see where see where he's at and and uh and, you know and we'll go from there I think him throwing punches at that weight, anyone that's past 110, 120 kilos and throws punches, it, it, you know, that's a knockout, you know, like, you know, you've got knockout hands. Tonight, the, the fans can expect to, to see the beast come out and, and go for it. Without question, I'm definitely going to be stronger than him. I'm bigger than him. And so what he's going to do is try to come in there with some punches. Maybe he may try to capitalize on uh, one of these cuts. He may try to open them up. Well, these are only scratches, so uh, there's going to be no opening up of anything. And about the only thing that I'm going to be opening up is uh, one big victory. <laughs> if Bob Saps thinks he's going to end his, his losing streak right here, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, someone's going to get knocked out on the night, and I uh, don't think it's me. So I think he's going to come in here and beat up the beast. Uh, so, so what? Because <laughs> one thing I'm going to hand him, and that's one big dish of pain. <laughs>the semi-main event sponsored by our good friends at rapid loss and the well-traveled the world traveled the human publicity machine has arrived 149 kilos the beast bob sap yeah i heard he eats welterweights for breakfast but they were all out and that's why he didn't make the 150. He is a big man, he has a lot of experience, he's fought in Pride, K1, he has fought and beat Ernesto Hoost in K1. There's a fine line between confidence and arrogance, and this big boy has got both in bucket loads. He's been around for a long time, he's got a lot of experience, he gave Antonio Minotauro Nogueira, one of his toughest fights ever. So he, he has the potential to be a very, very dangerous man if he gets his hands on you. Speaking about that Nogueira fight, that was back in 2002 in Pride and the only time that Bob Sapp has been into round number two. Every other Bob Sapp fight is a round one finish. Join us on Facebook and on Twitter and we will keep you up to date on all the happenings inside the CFC cage. Bob Sapp is a beast, but since he got his eye socket broken from Mirko Krokop, he doesn't like getting hit anymore. And his opponent, originally from Tonga, now based in Perth, Western Australia, 
Team Hulk and its principal, Zoa Pulele. A young man on the return and looking to head north as far as world rankings in mixed martial arts. They are pumping this boy up. He is such a placid, quietly spoken gentleman outside of the cage. He's ready to do his business on the inside. A six-fight winning streak. His last loss to Daniel Cormier in November of 2010. Yeah, we talk about the experience of some of the international fighters, but Soa has that experience too. He's fought in Pride and UFC, and as you just mentioned, he fought Daniel Cormier, who is now the Strike Force Grand Prix heavyweight champion, and that man is a monster. An absolute beast who has also fought in this very venue as well. Four years separates the two on the active workforce tail of the tape, but the maths really don't illustrate just how big the beast is. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Homebush, the return of the Avengers. Hail from Washington, USA, former Pride and two-time K1 superstar, trained at Team Beast, weighed in at 149 kilos, neat, standing 195.5 centimeters tall, with 11 victories, introducing, ladies and gentlemen, from the blue corner, Bob the Beast. To my left, from the red corner, House of Perth, Australia. Australian and Tongan heritage representing Team Hulk. 131.8 kilograms, he weighs standing 194 centimeters tall, 15 Vic. Ladies and gentlemen, from the red corner, Soa the Hulk. Here we go, the land of the Giants, round one, coming up. 280 kilos in the super heavyweight division, sponsored by Rapid Loss. The Beast wanted to engage eye contact, so it didn't want any part of it. And here we go, three five-minute rounds. Bob Sapp and Sol Pulele. The Beast versus the Hulk, the heavy-handed Hulk. Sapp races in, he gets tagged. Down to the ground he goes, Soa opens up here, referee moves in, and it is over already. That was quick. I saw Sap rush in, and it looked like he wore a shot before he fell down, but let's wait for the replay and see what happened there. Soa shrugging the shoulders, saying, what the? Sap rushes in. And Sap wears two short rights there. Looks like he mentally breaks and just gives up here as Soa unloads with those bombs and Steve Percival steps in to stop the match. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of 12 seconds in round number one. A winner from the red corner, the Hulk Soa. For the Hulk over one of the pioneers in Bob Sapp, let's get a word with Soa. Our winner, Soa the Hulk, Parley. It ended quite quick, you jumped up on top of the cage. Um, you weren't your normally excited self, you almost looked a little bit disappointed when you jumped up there. You know what, uh, a lot of you guys, if you followed uh, Bob Sapp's career, he's beaten some of the, the best guys, Ennis Hoost. He's been, you know, in the K1, and you know what, he's had losses, everyone has losses, guys, come on. Everyone's got haters, but you know what, at the end of the day, I come out with a win, guys, and you know what, it's, it's happened, it's happened, and so I train hard for this, guys. But thank you guys for, for, for coming down and supporting the Hulk. I love these guys, these guys have nothing to be nothing but supportive. And you know what, we're gonna say.